Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your ET Achiever spoiler cast. Ooh. For Star Wars <clears throat> Jedi Fallen Over. Of course, you know what a spoiler cast is. We're going to spoil the game. So from this moment forward, spoilers, they're in the on position. I was thinking of something funny like a gun. You know, there's safety on a gun. Uh-huh. It means it won't shoot. Mm-hmm. I don't is when a gun is off of safety, is it just on? A gun is hot. I think is what it's called. I guess. I guess maybe that's the expression from our hot and loaded. <laughs> Alex. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's what that means. But okay. <laughs> hot and loaded. All right. Um, Alex, mm. what did you think of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Mm. You are two planets away from 100% in the game. One so planet. you have... Co- one planet. Yeah, I, I have one. Pl- I have one planet Zepho. left. That's yes, right. yeah. Zepho. So just Zepho left. Yes. You are more complete than I am. I am only one planet behind you. Yep. What are your thoughts completely on Jedi Fallen Order? It's a really, really good game. It is right. Yes. So good. What are some parts that stand out to you? Um, the lightsaber. Of course. The the combat. Mm-hmm. It, you, I mean, you feel like a Jedi when you're fighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the force abilities. Um, even when you, I was about to say fast travel. Even when you uh rest at the meditation things, mm-hmm. I, I'm like, I like the idea because I mean, it's not you can't just like go um, mm-hmm. like I like that um, you know, let's say you know how they they have the lightsaber workbenches. I'm wondering if they had an idea to where they put the 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 skills and update tree on the workbenches mm-hmm. instead of the they meditation have, like, a stations. Thing. Yeah. Uh, but mm. I enjoy the meditation stations because, yep. I mean, you feel like a Jedi. You know, you're know, mm. sitting there and stuff like that. It's, it's really cool. I wish they weren't so overt with the respawn <laughs> enemies because that, like, breaks the immersion to me a little. Yeah. Where it's like everything's I, cool. You rest and then it's like enemies uh, have come I've back. Respawned. I've I'm respawned. Like, I'm like, I get it. You, that first two times, fine. I am now 20 hours in the game. You could just you just take that yeah. part off, right? Like, <laughs> I just let them just respawn every once in a while. But I see it. I see the point. It was a very interesting thing I heard about this game where it was a ma- an amalgamation of a bunch of other games. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So like this like Uncharted's uh climbing, mm-hmm. the combat of a Dark Souls game kind of. Yep. The uh, Metroidvania of a Metroidvania game. Yep. Metroid or, or Castlevania. <laughs> Um, and, I mean, and even uh, the skill tree is pretty cool too. The skill trees of basically any action yeah. game. Um, wh- and basically the sentiment was uh, there's a bunch of different games inside of this game and it doesn't do anything new or uh, great with any of them. Do you agree with that sentiment? Say that again. So there's a bunch of other games inside yeah. of this game, right? Yeah, 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 Dark yeah. Souls, Metroid. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, and you can almost see them clearly uncharted, right? Yeah. Do you think that... And the sentiment was, there's a lot of uh, great games in here, and they don't do anything essentially good. They do everything just okay. Um, I mean, I can see, I can, I, I don't, I don't see an issue because I mean, a lot of games have parts of other games like mm-hmm. just all the time. Right. Um, no, but of course there are seating. <laughs> the The point of this was everything is. Yeah. Um, you can a hundred percent tell Metroid. Right, you get a force power. You come back. You break open. Metroid yeah. does the exact same thing, like things like that. I I can see the point of the thing, mm-hmm. and um, I feel like I agree, kind of. Yeah, I I'm not as uh, the writing was good. Like I I'm not as negative as I think some people are. On I this mean, game, but I liked it a lot. I mean, uh, from what we, I mean, from what they put, I enjoyed it. Um. I don't. S- I mean, I I can see some stuff that they could have like changed and stuff, but uh, from from overall, I think the way they did everything was. What more- are some things you change? Uh, I have a list. <laughs> give me a fast travel. Fast travel, right? To because, meditation because points. Because for like, cause, like for example, I yeah, meditation, meditation, yeah. I 100 percent don't. Because that's I one think, thing. For I example, think they didn't have time. I don't believe no, that yeah. this isn't that, that that's a mm. implementation of the game they wanted. No, because for example, they didn't have time like, fast travel. I'm not trying to say they're gonna copy Dark Souls, but Dark Souls, you can fast travel bonfire to yeah. different bonfires. Yeah. This meditation thing, I'm like, like for example, Zepho. Sp- that's a huge place. Specifically, when collecting collectibles. Is when like, yes. it's like, all right, 
Like, like can yeah, I just I, fast like, travel I, to yes. this point? Like, uh, I got to figure out how to get back down there. That's uh, that's one thing. I was, and the map isn't great. No, I was on Kashyyyk, and uh, there was an area on Kashyyyk where you jump up, and then you're sliding down like the the, the mud yeah. thing, and you're sliding down the whole thing, and, you, right. and then you fall into the water. Mm-hmm. Right before I fell, um. I had missed a sense echo, or it says that I was missing the uh, uh, exploration percentage. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn it, where the hell is it? So now I got to go all the way around. Mm-hmm. Or if I find the bird, you can travel with the bird in that lane to go back to the other area. But I'm like, why can't I just fast travel to meditation so I can just find it? Meditation points. Why is that not a thing? Um, polish, of course. Yeah. This game needs tw- like a, a good three to six months of just polish work for mm-hmm. it to be great. Um, what else? There are, uh, I had a list too. Um, Mm. let me change my lightsaber colors on each side. For sure. And I feel like that might be, I wonder if that's a canon issue. Yeah. Do you think that's a canon issue? Well, did they say this game was canon? Yes. I'm, yeah, pretty sure. So, okay, so if, okay, because I was going to say, let's say they said it, it is, it is canon. I don't see us seeing these characters anytime in the cinematic universe. Oh no. So why no, would it, no, no, no. why would it be canon? Oh no. I'm not I I don't think that's even That's what I'm saying. That's not even going to be yeah, touched. Exactly. We're never that's seeing That's what I'm saying like again. then why make it canon? Just make, it'll make it like to where you can Because do whatever there's you want. comic books that are canon. Mm. Like there's a universe of Star Wars I guess. that's canon. But I'm just But like, if you I mean if you're speaking specifically on the movies you could argue that that's not canon. That or I mean, or like the, you said, the books. Like any of the, the, do you know if any anything from this game wasn't wasn't anything like in the books, comics, or anything like that? Alex, like what? Well, good question. Because mm. I got some Easter eggs for you. And I'm Seg- still trying to figure out segue. what. Should, I'm still trying to figure out what segment we should call Easter eggs. I've been trying to think of like, <clears throat> <laughs> like <laughs> eggs popping. <laughs> so like, I oh, don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> oh, there are a bunch, Alex. And Is let's there? start with the big one: okay. the second sister, the big bad of the yeah. game, right? Yeah. Darth <laughs> Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, Number Nineteen, <clears throat> Fortress Vader, Part One. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. So, so it was specifically created for Fallen Order, Second Sister existed in the Star Wars canon before the game actually released. She appeared first in 19th issue of Darth Vader Dark Lord of the Sith, a comic written by Jar- uh, Charles Soule and illustrated by Giuseppe uh, Camucoli. <laughs> It was first published on August 8th, 2018, <coughs> over a year before Fallen Order's release. The 19th issue of the comic uh, begins the fifth and final arc of the Dark Lord of the Sith. The arc begins with Vader leading three Inquisitors to hunt down Eeth Koth, one of the Jedi that survived Order 66. The fourth, ki- the fourth fine Koth, the, sorry, the four fine Koth, just as his baby is born, and the three Inquisitors chase down Koth's wife and child. Vader deals with the Jedi. Though the wife escapes, Koth is killed, and one of the Inquisitors <laughs> manages to rip the baby from the mother's arms and captures the infant, providing Vader with a new person to torture and bend to the dark side. After the mission, Vader meets with all of the surviving Inquisitors, including Second Sister, to discuss the final list of confirmed Jedi survivors. The Grand Inquisitor remarks that these Jedi are so well hidden that there's no way each Inquisitor will be able to find their final targets unless the Jedi make a mistake. Luckily for Second Sister and Ninth Sister, one of the Jedi they're hunting, Cal Kestis, does. So that's kind of like a that that is a thing on canon that has appeared somewhere else in the books. Okay. So the second sister has appeared in other books, um, and the ninth, like you said, ninth, yes, and the ninth sister. Because the ninth in the game was the big one, right? Yes, that's okay. the big lady <clears throat> yeah. right there. <clears throat> so there's n- so if they're called second and ninth, so there's nine of them. I assume so. So who's the? I wonder if we'll ever see the first or the other sisters or anything like that. Speaking of the Ninth Sister, another cool thing. Ninth Sister, Darth <clears throat> Vader... Well, I'm not going to read all this. Like Second Sister, Ninth Sister was first introduced in the Star Wars canon in that same book we were talking about earlier. Like uh, like the Second, once was a member of the Jedi Order. As a Jedi, she was known as Massa Tide, a poor, powerful Force user who could read people's emotions and deduce their thoughts. When she turned to the dark side, this ability was amplified to allow her to read minds. Though her massive size limited her combat ability in comparison to the other Inquisitors, Ninth Sister became one of... Darth Vader's most fearsome interrogators. Oh, that's Ninth and, Sister? Ninth, yes. Yeah. Okay. In the comics, Ninth Sister spends a lot more time with Darth Vader than Second Sister, accompanying him on many missions to hunt down Jedi fugitives. 
In Fallen Order, you may notice Ninth Sister has two peculiar injuries. She's missing her left eye and right leg. I didn't notice that. I noticed the leg. All Inquisitors possess. Oh, wait, I didn't notice that. Yeah. yeah. All Inquisitors possess some form of physical disability as part of Darth Vader's method of teaching them about loss. Oh. Well. In, the ninth, in the ninth sister's case, he carved out her eye. Oh wow. Jesus. And then the the leg is much longer story. I'm not gonna huh. get into all that. But that is they That's had a fight. So that is so that is canon and stuff like that with that. Mm-hmm. But like. Would we ever see it in the again? movie? Not it, just not specifically in the movie, okay. but like maybe because like, if you're talking uh, in the movie, technically no Star no, Wars thing is ever canon. No, no, because they're um, not bringing any of this. Into no, the movie. I mean like let's, like the shows, like you know, since Clo- Clone Wars is coming back, will we ever see anything like that? In Clone maybe, Wars, but that's or? not a, that's not the right time. So I guess I don't it's think always so. Yeah, because it's not <laughs> the right time frame for any of that. You can maybe see that trick. Uh, the ninth sister, yeah, as a Jedi, you could you could see her. Yeah. I don't think this stuff is made to bleed into other things as much. There's just, I think, a universe yeah. going. That's what as I was thinking. If it, go if it can't be fully canon, then do whatever the hell you want. Mm-hmm. So, is your definition of canon being in a movie? Um, not just uh, like I, to where it's it's noticeably a can uh, a canon, like because they're not something not, influencing an event. Yeah, similar be- to Rogue One. Yes, I see. Yeah, because not everybody reads the books mm-hmm. not everybody reads the comics but mm-hmm. a lot of people do re- watch the shows and mm-hmm. the movies mm-hmm. so like let's say uh the uh seer mm-hmm. like if we saw her I like randomly i don't know or like it, like like say like if let's say if maybe um one of the jedi people in the t- cancel in the prequels or something like and then they added uh something about her in the game or i don't know just something i've because uh I, uh, I mean, I'm wondering how that whole cameo thing works. So Another cool thing. Or canon thing. I was rewatching the Star Wars as part of a in-review thing mm-hmm. I do with Kind of Funny. And um, the... Uh, Jesus, I'm losing train of thought. Oh, um, in episode... Is it two or three? It should be two. In episode two, they reference the holocron mm-hmm. that Cal needs to find. Yeah. Um, it's when Obi Wan is talking to Yoda, I believe, mm-hmm. and they're just talking about, yeah, this is the map to all sensitive, sensitive child, uh, child, child, child yeah. I think that I think it's in the second movie. If it's not in the second movie, it's in the cartoon because I've been watching all okay. this and it's all bleeding together. Yeah, well, it's, a, it, it was well, mentioned before. Clone the the show uh, Clone Wars and two is at the same at the same time. I know that, Alex. I'm just saying. So it's probably two. <laughs> um, I get what you're saying. Um. I'm just wondering I, if they um, if they don't if they okay like let's say they do add a bunch of crazy stuff if people would get upset because they're like oh it's canon but like see like I mean I don't really, I wouldn't I wouldn't care so you're like make something for fun yeah similar like, I mean, to what if in Marvel that they're doing yeah that they do do because I mean, it's a video game it's not like I mean I see so you're like take liberties let's fight Darth Vader <laughs> let's stab him in the chest and kill him <laughs> well, you want more of a force unleash not scenario. that way because I mean this is well that's we, what happened with force unleash though yeah. We'll see that with this one, they set a time era mm-hmm. to where it was like right after six years or something. It was uh yeah five years after the Order sixty six. Right. Um. So same time frame. Nope. No, it's not. Sorry. What? Don't disregard me. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> but um, if they uh like flash, no, no I don't know. I get what you're saying. You yeah. want it to you want it to mean more want, in the wa- medians you're watching. I get I it. I guess you yeah. want it to mean more in what you watch because you're not reading the comics and you're reading. It. I yeah. get it. I get it. But they can't because like yeah. they're completely different things. It's easier with comic books because yeah. it's like because you can go ahead, you can have an ongoing thing and you can talk to the writers. With the movies, they're like solitude and you want to make your movie. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. I don't care. I I, I like Just that there's a you, canon. I like that there's a world you can see and, yeah. and exist in. Um, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, another Easter egg. Obi Wan Kenobi. We all saw that part, right? Mm-hmm. When you see him early on in Fallen Order's campaign, Cal will discover the existence of a Jedi holocron that possesses the location of all four instances of children in the galaxy. Much to Seer's delight, Grease doesn't quite understand what a holocron is, so they decide to show him one. When Cal activates Seer's holocron, it plays back the message that Obi Wan Kenobi left in the Jedi archives in the final moments of the Revenge of the Sith. It wouldn't be until Star Wars Rebels that we'd hear the entire message. <laughs> Warning to all Jedi that the Order has fallen, the Council have been killed, and that all surviving Jedi should go into hiding and trust in the Force and see themselves through this dark time. Oh, cool. So that yeah. was Obi-Wan's 
thing. That's cool. Mm, yeah, remember he pops up for a second and he's like, "Oh, hey, we're all dead. Run." Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I want this kind of like a spoiler. I won't read that. That's just in case they uh, someone wants to watch the movie because this is just about the game we're talking about. Um, Which going, movie? Um, not the movie. Sorry, it's a spoiler on the Star Wars Rebel show. And I want oh, to spoil it just I gotcha, they, yeah. someone's watching it. I haven't watched it yet. So. Um, I know it. What happened? So I, I, I don't mind reading that. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, what do you think about the overall story enveloping it, though? Uh, that one I liked. I like. I, I enjoyed. What do you think about it? Um, I, uh, what are some standouts? Me, that bird scene. This dope fighting oh, thing. Oh, yes. Fighting, fighting thing. Yeah. Last of a species, and you got to help it. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, you kind of felt like a force user. Because one thing that that, uh, <laughs> that I think is funny, and my uh, girlfriend actually pointed out, because she was watching, she was like, wow, for a peacekeeper, you you tend to go to these planets and just kill it, native species yeah. just willy-nilly. And I'm like, yeah, you kind of have to, like, not think about it that way. But, yeah, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, you yeah. definitely do. You come in, and you just jack stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, every yeah. moment, you get and split them in half. Well, but they, they attacked first. That was, yeah, hey, they they fought me, all right. But uh, the the bird specifically, I felt super Jedi when I yeah. walked up to it and kind of calmed it down, healed it, mm. gave it a stem, which one stem with that giant bird. I laughed a little because he's like, "Get BD a stem, one little stem," and he's like, oh, "He's good." Yeah, he's like, oh, okay. um, probably a little more, maybe two at least. Yeah, <laughs> um, I wish you could. We could have done the same thing for the bat, but. Yeah, when I was killing the bat, it felt kind of bad. I was like, this thing's kind of cool. But apparently it was like an asshole. Because the girl that we get, what's her name? Uh, Marin. Thank you. Marin, uh, when when I went back to Dathomir and I talked to her as I was walking out. Mm. Oh, no, I'm not talking to her. I went to the cave because I was getting like the things. I I dropped in the cave and he's like, Marin, I'm not going to get like attacked by a bat again. Am I like, you were attacked (laughs) by the bat and you survived? And he's like... (laughs) barely and she goes yeah that thing uh this has been torturing us for years or something oh okay so, like, i, I would remember that feel better that we stabbed it in the ice oh wow weird yeah, yeah. cool though she's cool it. too by the way Mary. oh i love Mary. yeah you could tell she was maybe pushed for time or an afterthought or something yeah or maybe she setting was, up for the yeah, next game because yeah. she's in there for five minutes <laughs> well because she was i mean so what's the point of the companion thing nothing like like, like it's not like they can come out with you in the world or anything. It's like, well, then what's the point? And then the so you could tell they were going for a Mass Effect yes. type feeling yeah. with your companion that you get close. So and you, get, you have conversations. Again, this needed more fleshing out. They needed more time. They needed to make yeah. this game long because you're just not going to get those feelings with optional conversations that don't have to happen unless you talk to them. You got Mirren, and then you get that little square, uh, the squirrel. A squirrel fox yeah, thing from uh, and it goes inside Darian the ship, but then you never see it. It's hiding, so they you say know, it hides. Gre- yeah, Grease. Never seen it. Grease says, "I feel like we have a stowaway because yeah. the food's missing, stuff yeah. like that." I got but that I'm like, too. Yeah, but I'm like, can I find it though? Where is it? I it's- thought they put it somewhere for you to find it, and I yeah, I can't. Find I even it. try to see like cause there's a, some stairs in your in your room. Yep. And I was hoping you can go down. You can't even go down. I'm again. Like, didn't have enough time for stuff like that. You can even tell. I feel like because there's doors. I was yeah, like, like are, there, the- are they for us or is that for companions we were supposed to have and you couldn't? You didn't have enough time in the game. Like this game is just wrought with with. I feel like they wanted just, to do this, but they didn't. I feel have like the this time. game they was supposed to, to be this. a lot bigger, way bigger. Yeah, but they just they, they probably they, had a two year turnaround on this, yeah. maybe two and a half. I don't know exact data when they started this. And you could tell that they got this. They went through and, and they did it. And good for them for it's as good as it is. Yeah, because no, this could have very easily been a bad game. Yeah, and I don't think it's a bad game. It's a good game, not great. I think good game, not great. Maybe it can be great when you're not like. And see, I give it a great, but I won't give it an so awesome. It's. <laughs> I wonder if someone's there. So if he's like, so, okay, there's good, great. How's the easy achievers rate stuff? Good, great, awesome. Is there a spectacular or is there a fabulous after that? I don't know which one it is. Um, but what I meant was it's great when there's no issues. Oh, no. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. this constant chugging or or like this texture. does. Or there's a pop in on my screen when I'm walking. Yeah. I've been spoiled with, I guess, Uncharted and God of War and things yeah. like this where it's like I almost never noticed loading. Yeah, and I know they hide loading screens, like when you're, uh, you know, when you're like going and you're like, all right, I get it, you're hiding a loading screen, but like this one, it's just like you mm. could just tell. <laughs> there was one time I was going through, 
and it ha- he was like <laughs> he was like crawling through this thing for so long and i was like what area are we loading because he yeah. was like it took him a good I was, minute it was to in get Do- it was in dothamir thing. yeah i it think was it that was long one and we were just like <laughs> As soon as I see him crawl, I'm like jumping. I I, I just look at him. I'm like over. bullshit. There's no way you fit through that. He's just eh, and he pushes himself, jumps. I'm like, how can no? And I'm just I'm just sitting here like I get it. You have to load the game, but God, Jesus, what it, what happened? <clears throat> Anyways, we'll we'll get, get through the story slowly, and we'll eventually get to that big part. Yeah. We'll talk about Saw Gerrera. like. Talzin, Saul Guerrero is a character first in Juice in the Clone Wars anime series who has since gone to be featured in multiple pieces of Star Wars media and literature. In Fallen Order, we see Saul, who's still on a younger side, years away from being the broken man we see in Rogue One, though fairly close to the results-oriented leader we see in Rebels. Saul's in That's about it. Yeah, I just want to bring that up. Saul's in the game. If you guys didn't know, that is the same guy from Rogue One. Tartful. Tartful. He was in... Oh... It's the chieftain. Yeah, he's a chieftain for yeah, and he was in uh, Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm. Mm. First scene of Revenge of the Sith, leading the Wookiees alongside Yoda's army of clones in the battle. Yeah, he's of like Sheik. the darker Wookiee. That's cool. I didn't know that. I wasn't paying attention. Mm. Uh, Towson. This is the mother of the Night Sisters. They called their Night Mother. I, oh. I got to this point in Clone Wars. Gotcha. Upon reaching Dalthamir, you will eventually encounter one of the last surviving Night Sisters, a young witch named Marin. <laughs> She tells Kyle that she's the last of her kind, and as she, when she was a young girl, a heavily armored creature with weapons of a Jedi came to her village and slaughtered her sisters and mother. There are quite a few people referenced here, but the big one is Marin's mother. In this case, it's most likely Talzin, the clan mother of the Night Sisters and one of the most powerful Force wielders in the galaxy. I didn't know if it was Force or magic, but I guess it's Force that they use. I well, Marin said it's magic. It well, Talzin. They just said Talzin is the most powerful Force wielder. I mean, she might be able to use the force. Mm. Maybe she's force sensitive. Maybe both. Yeah. Right. I mean, she because that green stuff. That's that's not the force. <laughs> you can't <laughs> that, just teleport. That's with no the, force to me. You can't <laughs> just teleport with the force. Yeah, I get, I get it. And then the next thing is like, oh, you get a little Yoda reference when he uh, does the thing in idiom. idiom oh yeah, 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 yeah. Master Yoda brought a yeah. Um, and then the big the big moment, Alex, hmm. Darth Vader. I was not expecting. I that. wasn't either, and I guess we're idiots because, like, uh, uh, they're gonna make a Star Wars game. Well, because I so. thought for some reason I thought it, I, I honestly, I, I thought I would. I thought we would see uh, um, Darth Maul. I'm not gonna lie, because uh, you know after they showed him in Rogue One, I'm like, oh, well, you know the prequel showed Solo. him dead. Rogue One Solo. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I was Solo. thinking that Rogue the One. end is Solo. Yeah. But at the end, it's, yeah, like it's. I mean, he gets. I mean, he's alive and stuff, even in the in the in the show and in the comics and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, yeah, um, that's I thought. It, but like, well, as soon as she just drops down, puts his, her head down, and you hear the music, the the or the, the music, just the ominous. You know, all it yours. was just so cool oh. how they did it. I'm like, oh no! I was just like, oh, he's here. I did, I just didn't know, and they I, did, I just, wasn't expecting they, it. They did yeah. such a good job of making him so powerful. Seeming. Oh yeah, you you could tell. I'll be honest. Like, I was Ooh. like, all right, let's fight him. Let's see. And I thought it was yeah, horsed. You yeah. he can't do anything. And my favorite part, I tried fighting him, and he was like, get off me. My favorite part was Seer. He's she goes, run, Cal. Like when he first comes out, and she's yeah. like, I'll just like she goes to distract him. <laughs> <laughs> what like whips her out? Like yeah. doesn't even hit her, and she falls into the thing. Um, I don't remember. Um, does he ask who that was, or he already knew? Because they don't explain. Like you ask know who what was Darth Vader. Oh, because like, like Cal does doesn't Seer ask. Seer no, does, 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 does no. I, I'm does Cal ask who Darth Vader is? Uh, no, she okay. doesn't ask who. You assume when they get they back already to the ship. Knew. Okay, well, I don't I'm, think Cal knows. I'm just saying, I wish there was like maybe a cutscene or a a, a, like, a, a thing about it to be like, oh yeah, he used to be a Jedi named Anakin or whatever, and uh, he turned you to can, the dark side or something. You can tell that they probably will do that in the next game if they ever do a next game. Yeah, because that would have been cool. It'd be like, Cal would be like, who was that? He was so powerful, or whatever. Mm. And uh, you would assume it come, it picks up right after that point. And they talk. Well, I guess they don't because they get to the ship and do the holocron message and yeah. break it 
Yeah. And then he says, what's next? I assume you have a conversation about it. I mean, but obviously. I don't see it, though. I, I mean, well, okay, first. If this is canon, they're obviously alive. What do you mean? He's a jet. So if this, okay, if this is canon, like, mm-hmm. he's obviously alive. Mm-hmm. So are they going to put him in the show or in the comics now to be like, he's, he's, is he hiding or is he, because he's alive, oh, he's a Jedi. you're saying like, like what where is he? Is he so, so yeah, sorry. was is he? Where is he in the universe? If he, yeah. if it is, canon? if he's, if he is a Jedi, why is he? Any, why is he in Force Awakens or something? Yeah, like why isn't he Force Awakens? Why isn't he in the show? He dies probably. Yeah, like I mean, eventually he'll probably will die. Maybe or, they'll say they'll say something, or he's hidden maybe or something. If you remember, and I'm not gonna spoil it. It's just from a trailer because I know they is, just came up with the. This is December fourth, so we haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, but you know, in episode nine, they have that big scene where it's kind of like uh, in game, where like every like all the ships are in, like together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. people can see Rogue One, uh, not Rogue One, um, from the cartoon uh, of. Uh, Rebels, you can see a, a ship from Rebels, that cartoon, Okay. in that scene. I'm sure we won't see anything, but that's the, they just want to show the you ship is maybe there. Maybe you can see the Mantis on the, there? <laughs> but my argument was, maybe you see the Mantis? That'd I, be cool. D- I doubt it. I don't think you that'd will. Be, I mean, that'd be cool. But that just, would be dope, but I don't think you're going to see No, that. you wouldn't see it because that movie is done already. <laughs> yeah, that was done. That movie comes the, out in two weeks. Yeah, that movie was long done with post. In yeah, that movie was ago. done probably. Not, honestly, I feel like that movie was done maybe uh, months three, ago. Three, four months probably. Months, yeah. yeah. They were probably finishing effects and things yeah. like that. Um, but yeah, that that, is, that isn't. That, I'm just saying. Maybe, I'm just saying, maybe like, he get at this point we don't know. We would have to. My see thing is like, the if story. they made this canon, they better do something with it because then what's They're the not, point? I get then it's not mean. canon. I get what you mean. I don't think of it that way. I think of it more of a oh, this is a cool thing that happened, and maybe he's just not a part of anything. And again, I, and see, he my, probably dies. Yeah, That's why he's and not. See, my thing. Then they they should say that later on what he's dead the, like, what, just if it will it? reference his 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 existence so if like like I, the, because this whole canon thing is what bothers me they're like you know, people <laughs> <I> can tell <laughs> well because people get really thinking about like oh it's canon it's not it's canon well i mean like then if it is canon mention is that ex- their existence in something else in the comics in the show in the cartoon or whatever. Okay, so what do you want from this? So I would want you be it- happy if Darth Vader number twenty, okay, comes out. Yeah, and Cal is in the comic. Are you fine? Is that what you want? Like, or- so- well, something like that. Yeah, because okay. then what's the point if if he's just only in this game? I understand now. If okay. he's if he's only in this game and never talked about again. I this see. is not canon, so so there's no. I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I finally understand. I yeah, was yeah. like, why do you want him in the movie? I don't get it. I, I, you want yeah. him in some other medium because yeah. it doesn't make sense for a character to exist in a game and not yeah. influence anything else. Yeah. Got it. Because I'm like, then what's the point of creating the character? You, you, you will never get that answer unless they make thing. more games and show where he is. Because they make all these characters and they make you like, I love Cal's character. He was so cool. He's cool. I want him to be in something else. But if He's they don't, then there was, what was the point of creating I that get character? It. I get it. I yeah. get it. Um, we will not probably see him. If if we do see him, it's going to be in a comic book. Yeah. That or, I mean, just ma- like reference him in some way. Like in, uh, since they're clone, uh, not Clone Wars. Um, when, when is Rebels? I don't, I don't know. Oh, when is it? When is that? Um, i never seen the show. So. Almost the exact, exact same time. Clone Wars no. area. Wait, no. No, wait. Re- yeah, Rebels. Exact yeah. same time. Exact yeah, okay. Same time, yeah. It's just, I mean, if they ever make a show, whatever it is, and it's like past or after this Skywalker saga, if they make more Star Wars, if they mention something, like, I, I would like, because like when I was playing uh, Jedi Fallen Order, I was waiting for some Obi-Wan references or some, like, like if we find out like a, a, a audio or holocron thing about Yoda or something. So that's what I was always waiting and I, for. I get it. I don't think they can do stuff like that. But it's Lucasfilm. They're all the same company, isn't it? Right, but you have guidelines, right? Yeah, for guess. instance, for instance, hey, can we put? Can we do a flashback with this thing happening? They might say no because that might mess something up with them. I guess because so. like you have to think about it. If he, if he, if they go, all right, uh, uh, I want a flashback with Cal. And he talks to Yoda when he's a kid, like when he's a kid, like during the council or something. And for yeah. for instance, that now locks Yoda in that time 
at that place. So he, this, in so that he must know Cal. So like maybe that's that's like the argument to where like they don't just let people open freely and also yeah. they might not like these people anymore because ea has only made one good game really i guess out of their 10-year deal that they had well so they maybe they, were just they made like, a third one so they had to stick with them one more. i mean they finally did something maybe they're like just make the game and we're getting out of this one it's done <laughs> and obviously you saw how good this one did they're like i guess we'll stay did it do that good it did better than the other ones I mean, yeah, but is that good to? I don't know. I I don't know. I we should look up sales at some point. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's my old thing. It's like if they're gonna make a car- or like make a thing, is like then reference it. I get what you're saying. I think, um, because you want them, because it's easy to say something's canon, similar to Force Unleashed, where I'm pretty sure people said that was canon when it came out. And that's very clearly it's not, not canon if you look at it. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure people messed around and was like, oh, it's kind of canon. No, a lot of people did say, yeah. And but I was like, it's like this it doesn't wasn't. seem canon at all. And I was the similar when I was younger um, when I mean, playing it, Force Unleashed where I'm like, I get that this canon, but it's like make-believe canon. Yeah. Where because this you can is, kill this is, Vader, can't you? And that, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, you can kill yeah, Vader. Yeah. That's not canon. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, you can kill and like take his place. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, it's like make believe canon and me and, uh, Rebecca have arguments about make believe canon all the time Yeah, where like at this point you could just pick and choose what canon you want. Like what canon do you really want? Do you want, uh, Luke to marry that chick in legends, you know, remember in like a long time ago, they wrote books. So a long time ago before Disney and bought Star far, Wars. Far away. Yes. And okay. a galaxy one. That's a good one. Um, a, a, a while ago, before they bought the were bought by Disney, uh-huh. people made Star Wars books. Okay, and it was called Expanding Universe. Mm-hmm. And there are a bunch of books where like Luke married this chick and taught her to be a Jedi or something, okay. and and they had this kid named Ben. No wait, I think that's real. Luke and Leia, or sorry, uh, Han and Leia, for some reason had a kid named Ben, and that's canon somehow, or maybe. I don't know. Ben existed though, before. Okay. Legends, or sorry, before these movies. Okay. Um, and they just made Ben again in this. But that that's like for instance, like hmm. pick and choose your canon. Like, yeah. If you really want this to be canon, and if you don't want it to be canon. Another splinter group of the Jedi called. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, Anyways. Jedi is. <laughs> Another splinter group of the Jedi. I was trying to find the timeline that easily explains. Yeah, this is not easy to explain anything, so I'm just gonna boop, I, close no, that. It, yeah, that universe is just everywhere. Mm-hmm. That's why. But yeah, I know. Over, I mean, the game is the game. The game's really good. I, I enjoy the game's it. good. I like the. It. I just love ing- like pulling out the lightsaber, mm-hmm. boom, and you just like start fighting. I mm-hmm. love the reflective. Like you can reflect the blasters, and it'll go back to like the combat is mm-hmm. awesome in this game. I, you have piqued my interest though with the cannon issue. Yeah, where it's like. Because at this point, this could be canon and not canon. Because yeah. it doesn't do well, anything. See, and that, and, Nothing happens. And that's why I want to know, did they say it was or not? Oh, Wait. they said this. Oh, hold on. Let's find it. Okay. Did they for sure Because if they canon. did say that, then they should reference this this, this event or this the, any anything from this game into something else. Because then if not, what was the point of making it canon? If they did say it's canon, then it's not canon. It's just a... Uh, another universe thing. It's just another story, which I don't mind. But if if they're gonna say something, it it is, then make it so. <laughs> That's what confuses yep, a lot yeah, of people. It's it's canon. Yeah. Yep. I don't know who dictates canon. Just there's people saying it is canon. And see, my thing is, I th- I wonder if they just say canon just so they people keep their hopes up if one day, but then they never do it like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I I'm get like, it. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm just reading through a quick Washington Post article, mm-hmm. um, and I think they need to understand. Because imagine that would be cool if one day, let's say, uh, in the show, if it wanna, if a new show comes out or um, Mandalorian, mm-hmm. that takes place before the First Order. It's it's, it's right after Episode Six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if since this is uh, this this is years before. Let's say Cal did die or something happened with his lightsaber. He drops he drops it somewhere. Like the one that you know that's in the posters and stuff. And Mandalorian is going through a cave or something and searching for something okay. and he just finds a broken lightsaber and you're like Yeah. 
Oh, this was an and old Jedi is, lightsaber. And, That's canon. That'd be cool, isn't I it? Get, I get like what you're that. saying now. Yeah, you just want something to back it up. Back it up, not, yeah. it's just someone saying it's canon with nothing, yeah. no actual consequence. Yeah. Because right. if not, then it's not canon. I mean, that's still cool as well. It's just a whole. It's just a. It's just another story. Because I, that, I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Where Mandalorian's going? This this whole Baby Yoda thing. Baby Yoda looks so adorable. Right. I'm, I'm trying to figure really out. What it is. I wonder if we had done it in the opening, it would have. Been but yeah, that's my thing. Um, one quick thing about Mandalorian. Go ahead. Why haven't they said the word force or anything? Are they because the Empire is gone, so they can't. So they, like, like, uh, like the kid, uh, Baby Yoda used the force and stuff. Mandalorian looked, it saw that. Does he not? Uh, when he I don't think he kn- he doesn't does know it, what the force is. Well, because the force isn't a known thing anymore. Because at it's the, only been I thought it was only been a couple years since twenty, the, huh? From. Uh, Revenge of the Sith yeah. to four yeah. is at least twenty years. Okay, and then from then from there and there, I think that's like six or eight. What about uh? So it's been at what least. What about when Dar- when the when the Empire fell in six mm-hmm. to Mando? Mm-hmm. Um, that was how many years? Six, six. Mm-hmm. I mean, Empire is Palpatine. Vader, they had force, and they right. they knew about but no the one Lords. Knows they that, don't know though. that they're like they're, they're not running around advertising they use the force. Oh, I mean, like, I, figured, aren't I would board. assume they would know. People would be like, oh, they have this weird magic thing. It's the force, or well, they're dark. He doesn't, he doesn't really go anywhere. That's my thing. I'm hoping that they explain more. And Vader basically kills everyone who sees him. That's good other point. than some random stormtroopers he carries with him and his inquisitors. That's a good point. So I I get what you're saying. Like, why don't people know the force? But it a big because, galaxy so i guess people my, don't really yeah. talk about it and, and see, then also like it's maybe been people are scared actually. of it because before the empire doing anything anybody who want who had the force or anything was force sensitive they 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 die yeah so maybe they just wanted or to maybe they will be and again like so far he's been to places that it's like even if the force was a known thing would people really be talking about they kind of have their own issues to worry about yeah that's good right point. like are we thinking about nuclear bombs daily not that that's a one to one comparison. I'm just saying, like for an instance, like but we know what we, we we know what they are, and they might too, but they just don't talk about it. I like, cause so. why? Cause I'm not force sensitive, so I don't care about it. I maybe, maybe that's the I don't know. That's a good question. I just feel like they. I feel like they, I don't think enough people are force sensitive that I just, matter. I would just wonder what they're gonna do with this baby Yoda thing because I wonder if they're gonna be it's, like, oh, he's force sensitive. We gotta protect him because if not, something could come for him or like do something. It's gonna but, be a big deal because, like, or maybe that's why they're coming for him so that then they'll explain that because because they want like his baby, with baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the thing though that he was born the same year as Anakin. That's kind of cool. Yeah, um, because you can think of like a duality yeah. of uh, light and dark. But um, <laughs> it's that's what they're called. Man. Um, it's funny that uh you say that, because this does this Mandalorian does make a big issue in Star Wars, where it's like there's a Yoda, which is a very powerful species, apparently. Yeah, of uh, force. They're they're, they're they're very force sensitive. So yeah. like, that has to influence the end of nine. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But this this goes on past nine. Does it really? So, because this no, is, sorry, this, but this is before the release for, schedule of the episodes, not the timeline. The release schedule of the episodes. Oh, oh, the release oh, schedule oh, of the gotcha. episodes don't end till December twenty seventh. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we can see the movie, and before watching the end of the show. So I'm assuming there is not anything that's gonna like a big deal that's gonna happen that won't affect the movie. I don't know, but yeah. and see, my thing is another thing. <laughs> They've announced this Baby Yoda. Is it canon? Where is it in the new movies? <laughs> Where's Baby Yoda in the Dagobah system? Maybe it went back in time, and that is Yoda itself. That'd be oh, I, know, I found something. That'd be some weird, then, wouldn't it? I found something. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Ilium was a sacred place for the Jedi. Yeah, but the game it. also confirms something fans theorize since the Force Awakens. Ilium is where Kylo Ren and the First Order construct the ill-fated Star Killer base. From uh, Force Awakens. That's why it looks like that. If you really know your lore, the map where they showed Starkiller Base was a giveaway. Yeah. And people noticed that. I love that they made the connection there. That's another generation and people don't know about the planet's history. 
if you look at the planet when you're when you're traveling to there, the the white planet, you know how you see the ship going into it. In the middle, there's like big a big open area, kind of like a construct. Star Killer base looks exactly the same as that. Mm. Like there's a big metal thing, like like a little like. And they mentioned they're yeah. mining the crystals, so that makes sense. Because there's no Darth, yeah. there is no Vader base. So the Star base. Killer there's base no... is I- Ilium. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty that's cool. cool. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. That's cool. See, see okay, there's, there's an instance for you. Okay, see, there's that's canon. There you go. Yeah. I didn't know that one. Um, and then they they start talking about. By the way, this is Contrius, uh, which I believe is the game director. Okay, or something like that. The moment is only a second on screen display of Vader's unbridled anger and power. After Rogue One's crowd pleasing closing scene, the sequence is meant to portray Vader as the inexcorable inex. I can't. I've, I've never able to pronounce this correctly. This inexorbitable i think is how you say it I, I i struggle with that word all the time oh yeah inexor inexorable yeah it's like like scary yeah. Inex- powerful. yeah inexorable unstoppable force that cow needs to get away from he's an inevitability as death that's kind of cool that's it yeah. there was certainly an immense amount of work on getting that right clearly the most scrutinized part of the game and hopefully it paid off country's background has mostly been in level design focused on moment to moment scripting and games running a full th- uh, throated and consequential Star Wars story has been the most rewarding project of his career. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That scene with Vader, it, when you when you gotta run away, it made me a little scared of him. I'm oh, like, oh no, god, I was scared. He's breaking apart the base as you're running away. Yeah, and that was pretty terrifying. <laughs> and it was really cool when uh, Sears don't turn around by corner, the way. Corners him. Oh, you, you can. What what did you see? Well, I as I as I'm running. Uh-huh. I turned around to see how far he was. He was like right behind me and he went, boom. He oh, force grabbed me and he choked cool. me and he killed me. I was oh, like, that's cool. I yeah. Didn't um, I didn't realize how close he was because I was, I ran quick and I was like, oh, I wonder how far he is. I turned around. I, st- I got stuck for a second. He looked at me. He force grabbed me and he pulled me. And I'm like, oh, no, God. no. Yeah, don't look at him, Jesus. Yeah. Don't look at him, folks. Um, uh, apparently, the Mandalorian uses the Unreal game engine to power its visuals, as does Jedi Fallen Order. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I know quite a few folks who are working on these stories now, he said. I can't wait to see where Star Wars goes in the future. Yeah. And that ends it. I wonder what they're going to do with these newer movies after Skywalker. Well, they get, need to find new writers because they don't do the Game of Thrones people anymore. Yep. Shocking. Can't can't um, figure out why they wouldn't well, work the Game of Thrones uh, Well, writers. there's some... There's a, I thought there was another guy. Ryan Johnson? Ryan Johnson said he was going to have his own trilogy, but that didn't work out. Oh, that didn't work out? Yeah. Oh. And then they got... The people who the did the Game, Game of Thrones people. people. And then I'm they pretty s- sure they saw how bad Game of Thrones ended, and they were like, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> uh, we're doing something else. They'll stick to their prequels. So I am I, I think they're still workshopping who's going to run and direct and write for these. Yeah, because they I want, like, it, they, it's obvious they want one director for the three movies. Yeah, and don't because I feel do... like they, they, Star Wars can't just end. I no, feel like at this point. I, I feel like at this point. Don't worry, it, Disney's it, got your back, Alex. <laughs> yeah, I feel like at this point they just gotta keep doing it. No, yeah. Once this is the end of the Skywalker saga, when yeah. we get Episode Nine, that that will be over. We're gonna get new stuff, though. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. You're pretty little head, Alex. Go Apparently, back. they're developing three Star Wars shows for Disney. They should Plus. go back to pre uh, pre Council stuff, mm-hmm. to where like it's, it was when Jedi's first started, and the, you want the old Republic. old Republic. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's what the movies are gonna be about. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, they're going to be about the old Republic. That's what, I, that's what I want. They want, like... Because that game is so like, good, but I'm, like, like... prehistory things. Yeah, because, I mean, like, there's, you know, Jedis everywhere and all that stuff. Did you get a... <laughs> and it was hilarious. Hmm. Did you get a very specific line of dialogue between two stormtroopers on Kashyyyk that, while you were there? So I'll tell you the story. Okay, and it seems like you because I, I I don't I don't know because so, I, I, I there was a lot of stuff talking. Remember? So I was going through, right? Okay. climbing through, and there's okay. a window, and you're climbing underneath the window, and you hear oh two yeah. Storm yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. And they they say um, they're like yeah they're they're uh, they're advancing, but at least we have the high ground. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I yeah. dude, I died for like fucking yeah. ten minutes. I was laughing so hard at that. Like, at least we'll have the high ground. That'd be funny if the other stormtrooper was like, dude, don't don't, don't say that. He'll hear you. He'll hear you. <laughs> He's gonna get really upset. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that made me laugh. So, yeah. And then um, another note I have, combat makes me feel like a Jedi. I yeah. feel like a Jedi, especially when you get all the skills. I love mm. the, the double hit Y when you have double bladed lightsaber. Oh, yeah, and it hit spins. It, and you spin it around yourself, yep. and he's like, yeah. like, hold it there. It's so cool. Um, yeah, I was uh, back on Dothamir, killing a bunch of those uh, dead 
Night Sisters things, and I was just doing that. Yeah, there's so many of them. Yeah, there's so many, so you could just and yeah, it just kills them. I all. got one, I'm one skill away from getting all the skills. Oh wow, really? Yeah, from the skill I tree. I have any three. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I think like I said, I'm almost done. Ones. Yeah, I'm almost done as well. How are your achievements going? Are you missing a lot? I yeah. Well, I'm missing says, seven, I think. Well, yeah, it says uh, I'm missing eight or nine, and it's and it's saying um, I'm missing the. Of course, the map. Um, it says I need to get all the the hollow tapes. I think for BD one or whatever. I'm assuming I once I hundred percent it, I, it'll give it to me. But it's weird because I'll hunt. I like you said the, yesterday, a hundred percent an area. But I'll start walking and BD will run to something and tells me to scan something. So it, does that count towards my hollow tapes for BD? Remember how there's an oh achievement? you there's oh an, you don't any, have that. There's an achievement for that. Yeah. So I don't have that. The hollow tapes are when um, the guy talks to you. So when when he has left hollow tapes of certain things, mm-hmm. so there's probably ten, maybe a little more than that, in throughout the game. So you'll go and he'll scan something, yeah, and then the guy starts talking. The, oh, maybe the, I'm missing. What's his name? Uh, the the yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, the the main the the Jedi master, guy, the guy. council guy. Uh, by the way, teared up when he was saying goodbye to. BD one. Oh and yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, this is really sad. Yeah. Um, but but he he has count now, so it's okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, those are the hollow tapes. Uh, mine finished on Dothomir. Oh okay. I got that achievement when and I I'm, hit I'm, Dothomir to uh, right before you kill uh, Milagos or whatever. Oh, you talking about you talking about uh, Milos? Oh, uh, you talking about yeah. yeah? You talking about the the the? I was walking up Inquisitor he, guy. You looking. see one to your right, and he scanned it, and he started talking. But you might have missed one somewhere. Yeah, I, I might have, think I missed it on Zepho because I only had half of the stuff on Zepho. Mm. So mm. like, there's a lot of stuff there. There's so. a lot of his tapes on um, the original planet Bagano. Pagano. Pagano yeah. Well, it says I hundred percented everything there. Well, I don't think it. And it might not be part of the actual. And see, I w- and see, I walked everywhere, and every time BD would walk towards somewhere to scan yeah, for me to scan it. something, yeah. I'll scan it. Yeah, but and, and it, it might be on Zephos. Finish Zephos, and then you'll know. Yeah, but I already got that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I haven't gotten that. Another fun but dumb Easter egg. There's a uh, eventually. Uh, let's see. So apparently, uh, there's. I don't know if it's a specific door, but if a locked door and you can't traverse it okay. if you go over it and try to interact with it 66 times <laughs> you will get the dialogue execute order 66 apparently. which door is it uh he says in this it's during a train so i guess the beginning of the game oh okay but if you try to open the door 66 times it will not open and it will say execute order 66 that's weird i wonder why that door um it uh is the same door that Yoda crawls through? And no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna say, are you serious? <laughs> it's and the exact same door. He goes through a vent, a, a, a air vent. A vent, yeah, because yeah. he's terrified of the Emperor. Yeah, stupid movies. You'll Let's miss. just talk about the. Pre- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm doing a rewatch of the Star Wars movies. You, yeah. you, I remember being like, ah, I, I, I remember them. You, like you remember them more fondly. Yeah. Nope, those prequels pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad. I this mean, they got they got some good parts. Of course it does, but it's just the acting is what's wrong. No, like, no, like yeah, the actual stuff that's happening and the yeah. right the writing and the acting. Oh, of course, yeah, is what's really bad. The acting is like like subpar. You can tell his direction was yeah. bad. Like it's not Anakin's fault. He talks like that. Oh yeah, they, no. his direction was talk like this, and he was like, okay, I guess. Speaking of that, episode nine, mm. me and Rebecca have been talking. We're seeing Anakin. What do you think? Which Anakin? <laughs> I think we see Anakin, Anakin the way we that we see Hayden Christian. Okay, Hayden Christian, Anakin, yeah. not the not the old, no, not Episode Six. Anakin. No, even though that would make more sense. Well, and if it does it, happen, the, that well, the, probably will. Well, the be. Force Ghost is it shows you. It's so dumb. Isn't it? Isn't it like don't when you don't give me any reason you've made up to me, try and make that? Well, thing I'm asking. Make sense. I don't know if you know. No, it, it's it. There is no reason. Like there hasn't been a thing that explains Force Ghosts. Okay, so it's all feel, up to interpretation, okay. honestly. Yeah, and see, I thought it was like uh, your force, your for, the Force Ghost would appear in the vision of where, I, where you were truly. I think, you I know, think, I think that was just something people made up to okay. try and make that better. Well, I mean, that would make sense. I guess I don't think it. I don't think it does. Because why? It, why then? Because well, then he's still a Jedi though when that happened. So why wouldn't his 
body like that be there? Because when Vader kills Emperor, he's yeah. a Jedi. Like, in all retrospect, he's re- he came back he to the Force. He redeemed himself. Yeah. I guess so. Like, it doesn't teleport you back to your better self, in quotes, because yeah. that dude was still a psychopath. <laughs> like, he still killed people. Yeah. That's a cool. lot of people. Um, Maybe it's because nobody knew who that was, so when they put Hedy Christensen in, they're like, oh, okay, that's the Anakin I think guy. it was a nod to the movies, and, yeah. and George Lucas went over his head like he does yeah. a lot with yeah, the movies, because there's... And then they should have changed Obi, the old Obi Wan, to the <laughs> to see Ewan McGregor's. Just keep changing him, like the, yeah, because Star Wars is the only movie people do that with. It's no one goes up to private saving Private Ryan, for instance, and say, "Yeah, let's change a little bit of it." No one said. No, no one says that. Why are we always just leave it? Just stop touching it. Okay. And there are better things, though. I will admit to that. There are scenes that are better because they went back to it. The original. <laughs> oh yeah, you seen the original job of the hut? That that too. Yeah. The original um uh in episode five, mm. the original uh Emperor Palpatine oh. was a dude in a yeah. chimpanzee mask. So like, oh yeah, okay, no, it was that's gross. that's yeah. good that we changed that. There's things like that. Like people don't be- might not believe that. Look up the original. Oh no, yeah, the original the ones. Original look Emperor gross. Palpatine. He, he looks like a guy like, like, with a chimpanzee mask on his head, and they re- went back and changed that. Thank yeah, you. yeah, that look, that look, that look <laughs> that rough. Funny. That look rough. I, I, they made fun of that, I believe, in Family Guy. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and when they did their Star Wars joke thing, that was, but that was hilarious. Uh, any lasting comments on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Go play. It. I I would assume they played it if they listened to the spoiler cast. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, oh, okay. not, not everybody technically. They just want to know about the game. I guess some people like being spoiled. By the way, that's what I'm saying. Like some I know people like people to be spoiled. Who, then I'm like, like, like once it's been spo- like once it's out there. For instance, I believe I don't know if this is true. It, have you seen episode nine? The script was leaked. Have you seen that? Oh yeah. Um. Did you did you saw who left it under his bed? So I know he did it. Yeah. They also said Disney bought the script from the person who put it on eBay. S- but so then how was the script leaked? Like I don't know what's real. So maybe when they when he when they whoever the uh, the the eBay lister posted or whatever mm-hmm. he leaked it. Before. Why'd you say eBay like that? Huh? Why'd you say eBay like that? I, I you said eBay. Yeah, my I know I'm messing yeah, with you. I, I hate you. eBay. <laughs> Cuz I was about to Cuz I was about to say EB Star Wars makeup collection. How is, how is this stuff real? Um, I'm trying to look through. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there was... I don't see anyone talking about it, so I'm assuming it wasn't real. Because apparently someone said the script is on Reddit, and you could just go read it. Or the plot, at least. Mm. That could have been fake, though. I, I'm just waiting. I'm Two, more weeks. Anywhere. Two, Two more weeks. Two more weeks. When are you seeing it? Opening day? Uh, I wish. You got the balls? <laughs> I wish I'm not probably not off that day, and I'm opening and Carly that has to day, work. so I can I can I'm going. And, and Carly has to work the next morning, so I don't know. Week. <laughs> I'm just busy with you. She's a teacher. Ew, that's oh. weird. All right, male lion <laughs> roars oh while mating with lioness. <laughs> Why are you? Who reading? looks very <laughs> underwhelmed? Roar. <laughs> 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 No, <laughs> that line is not having it. She is like, just get it over with. <laughs> you know, we all know that. Yeah. We all know that, male or female. We all know that. Thing. Just get it over with. Yeah, right. Well, I've been in that position times as well. Just, just get it over with. <laughs> I want to go to bed. The guy, he's <laughs> Joe. Thank you for <laughs> that's enough. Thanks, Joe. Thank you for listening <laughs> to your Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order spoiler cast. Remember, this is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We post every Friday to all of your favorite podcast services. Our regularly scheduled programming, of course, every Friday. Podcast services around the world and patreon.com slash easy achievers give us a dollar helps us out a lot. Keeps the investments going. Keeps us uh, gives us something to show. Um, you know, people that we want to collab with or potential sponsors that will help us out even more. Something that I can show figures to actually demonstrate that we have the reach we have. Maybe Thank they can so actually listen to this and uh, actually make it canon for me. Someone please help him. You guys have a good one.